Hello, wonderful people. This is Mary Lou Arreño. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So last week, I shared with you the new look of education. And for today's episode, I'm going to share with you a research conducted by the American Educator Panel on COVID-19, uh, and they conducted a survey. And uh, this research is done by Deliberty in 2021 under RAND Corporation. And this is how did online learning affect students? So for all of you teachers who experience doing online learning, and I know it's a lot of challenges and struggle. And this study survey will help us understand what was really the effect of online learning to our students. So are you ready? Let's begin. So this study is conducted, as I've mentioned, by Rand Corporation. It's uh, during the school year 2020 and 2021. And the respondents in this survey um, are 1,045 teachers and uh, 1,183 principals from K to 12 uh, from different schools in the nation. And the models that they use uh, in this interview for those schools, K-12 schools, are um, there are schools that are fully remote uh, during pandemic, and some um, did the hybrid, and some are on full on-site. So let us find out the findings of this uh, study. So findings, the first one, using a fully remote model. On a teacher's perspective, teachers sees or found out that there are less instructional time. And of course, there are less materials during instruction. It is understandable because um, I think when a district called for school closure, teachers did not have a lot of preparations to gather materials from their classroom and take it to their home. And um, at the same time, the school districts are not ready for more resources that students can use in an online learning. So I think um, I can support the teacher's perspective here based on the research that there is less instructional time and less material. Why is less instructional time? You know, the connectivity. Sometimes even teachers are struggling in connecting to their online classroom and same thing with the students. And a lot of time are wasted just to figure out how to stay connected. And on the other side, the principal's perspective, they also um, observe that there was a tremendous decrease in instructional minutes. So like in a real setting, in a real on-site learning, usually a period of one class is supposed to be an hour or sometimes in other cases, an hour and a half. But during remote uh, instructions, because of the connectivity issue and other factors, sometimes teachers and students their instructional hours is lessened. So those are some of um, the observed effect. Another finding is uh, on a fully remote instruction, according to teachers that um, answered the survey, there are also um, less assignment completion. And kids, um, they cannot, more children, they cannot complete their assignments maybe due to lack of resources, due to lack of uh, you know, books, textbooks, that they should have it on their hand. And uh, for some students, they don't have the resources of staying connected all day, so they cannot do research. And another uh, findings from the teachers is like, there is high absenteeism. So absences on the students not everyone can log in, not everyone can attend their remote uh, classroom. And on the principal's perspective regarding low academic achievement in math, so that is something that they discovered. 
on, on their um, assessment, there was a tremendous effect on low academic achievement, especially in mathematics. So 74% uh, are low in terms of academic achievement in math for those who conducted remote instructions and 63% uh, using the hybrid and 46% on fully in-person. So as you can see, even the, the fully in-person learning, there's still a tremendous decrease on the math achievement. This is because uh, pandemic, uh, families are getting sick and kids and teachers, they cannot concentrate fully on the learning process. So another findings uh, on a fully remote instruction is that, and this is surprising actually, uh, I myself, I was surprised with this result. And it says on the fully remote or uh, on a virtual instruction, they, there are many or more percentage of students with color and low income children serve on a remote learning. So it, it's kind of surprising because we always expect that in a low income population, usually the struggle is uh, there is no connectivity, there is no available technology, but in this case, it's different. And I know, I kind of figure out probably the answer or uh, a possible factor why this result came out. It's because the government gave all schools this CARES Act money. Like there's also the Governor's Education Relief Fund, the CARES Act, the CRRSA, that's the COVID relief funds, and now the American Rescue Plan. So there are a lot of uh, help in terms of monetary from the government that was given to school, and school was able to provide connectivity and technology to students. And this is maybe the reason why there are so many students with color and low income children that were served during the fully remote instructions. And, and that is a good thing. And it is an interesting findings. And another result of this survey is that on a teacher's perspective, they said, the teachers who answered said, students are less likely to attend on one-on-one -on -one reading intervention. So kids probably, they don't like having a lesson face-to-face -face with their teacher just by themselves or with their interventionists. So there are less students to attend the reading intervention on a one-on-one. -on -one. But on the good side, there are more students who access the tutoring services. And maybe because they struggle in completing their assignments, they struggle in finding and uh, resources. So they just attend tutoring services available uh, for the students in the school district. So, and that is a good one. So it means like even an online learning, there are still tutoring services available. So that is really very interesting study regarding the effect of uh, this uh, online learning to our students' uh, education and achievement. And I hope you learned something from it. And I hope with these uh, findings, you can find ways of improving and helping our children, especially now that we are not yet, uh, not all districts are back on on-site. There's still a district who chose to be online and some uh, they, are, they are on hybrid or a combination of online and on-site and some are on the on-site learning. So thank you. And I hope uh, you learned from this uh, video regarding the research on the effect of this online learning to our students' achievement. So thank you for now and bye. I'll see you next time. And to God be the glory. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the teacher's channel, Best Friend, because I will be providing a lot of professional development and studies that can help teachers uh, to provide um, more effective and efficient instruction. So thank you. Bye.